How epic are the views? Okay, so we are here in, uh, in Salzburg, in Austria, for, uh, for the Mosul 100. Uh, it's a 100k race with about 5,000 meters of, uh, of elevation gain. Uh, very early start, we were here already at 4 o'clock, race starts at 5. So, uh, yeah, let's go have a party in the mountains. Three, two, one, go! Okay, just went through the first aid station. Uh, about 10 kilometers. First part in the uh, basically in the city, so a lot of asphalt. Then hit a nice flat trail, kind of next to the river. Nothing too crazy. Uh, taking it easy, legs feel good. Uh, nothing, or that's how they should feel in the beginning, so nothing too bad. And then we'll see later on how it goes. The uh, sun is starting to come out. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice good start. Still a lot of people around, so it's uh, good to have some company. Uh, next exit station should be about uh, 10 kilometers down the line, so let's see how it goes. Ten minutes, like really, ate uh, watermelon and orange juice and salami and cheese, and really made sure that everything's okay. This last section was uh, was pretty chilled. It was just like next to this really nice lake, so uh, it's not too bad. But the next part is ten k, about thousand meters of climbing. So yeah, stocked up like uh, like really nicely. A lot of extra bars, a lot of water and stuff. So. Yeah, the next part should be a uh, should be quite rough up a big climb. So that's where we're heading. That's the, uh, the top of the race, I guess. So uh, yeah, about two and a half k, 150 meters of elevation gain. So uh, let's do it. So just a quick stop at that aid station. Uh, previous section was a lot of climbing, but then this is pretty cool to arrive at this lake at the bottom. All the mountains. You can see the other people still making their way up. And uh, just a short climb up ahead, and then we'll drop down to the to the bottom. Ah, oh, those views were so cool, man. It's so stupid if you work so hard to get up all the way there and then you can't really enjoy it because you wanna... <laughs> you're still in the race. But yeah, spent some time up there, took some pictures, a lot of videos. And now I'm going down this like technical downhill, so... Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what about this aid station? Nice setup there under the roof, right next to the lake. It's like super tempting just to go and like jump into the water. It's getting like really, really, really hot now. And that last section was horrible. It was like not very far, but I think we lost like a thousand meters in elevation or something like that. I don't know. I'll, I will have to check it online again and maybe post it here. Like it was like really, really horrible. 
uh, might have uh, thrashed my legs a bit, but uh, but we will see. We will see. Okay, so my watch has gone 52 and a half case, which is according to that the uh, the halfway point of the race. Still feel good. I'm a little bit tempted to push the second half, but still a lot of running left. So I think it might be possible as all the some of the big climbing is already behind. So. The last part is not flat but just some rolling hills so and my watch just told me that coming up is a five and a half k climb 750 meters gain so always something to forward to so trying to conquer this uh, monster <laughs> climb and it's super hot today at least there are these like uh, little mountain streams coming from the top so every now and again you can stop and just uh, dunk your head into the nice cold water okay so I'll try and stay positive after that hellish of a climb uh, at least they didn't take us there I guess it could be worse but yeah man, look still at the at the views that you get here I mean this is just awesome <laughs> but you can see the guys just camping out under the tent it was like really super hot and the climb was absolutely brutal it was like a one hour and 15 minute climb 750 meters of elevation game was horrible absolutely horrible every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days right just leaving the aid station now uh yeah from the top down to the bottom uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought, it was like uh, quite technical, so you could uh, control the pace a little bit more than than the previous time, which was just down the road. So. Right, I think this is the last time we'll have the, these nice views of the lakes and stuff. We are uh, heading back to, to Salzburg, so we'll be dropping down and moving away from the lakes. Okay. So I've just spent uh, 30 minutes at the aid station, <laughs> so uh, I guess my uh, big mouth closed uh, very quickly and uh, there will be no sub 15 hours running today. My feet are like killing me so I thought I'll just be sensible and uh, just take it easy and just make sure that I finish and I don't hate left the, the last aid station uh, yeah the last section was much better I think the thicker socks makes a makes a difference I could run a lot more than uh, than the previous time and didn't uh, hate my life the whole time uh, but uh, spent 20 minutes again at the aid station <laughs> but uh, I got a message from my daughter which was a uh, which was always good gives you a little bit of a extra extra inspiration so yeah 20k left I uh, feel okay a little bit of climbing left and uh, 10k to the next eight sessions so let's see how it goes okay about 15k left uh, going down again a little bit up and down the whole time uh, fighting the sun let's see if we can get back into the square while it's still uh, while it's still light so we're still trying to run as much as possible Right, 10k to go, let's finish this nonsense. I think I lost the battle of the sun though, but, uh, but we'll see, but I think it's gone. <laughs> right, you can't see anything, but we're here baby, we're here. Finally, still can't see anything, but we're here, I promise you around the corner and we're done Thanks. all right that's a wrap in front of uh, mr. Mozart after the Mozart 100 I'm finished and uh, if you'll excuse me after uh, about 15 gels eight red bulls 
and about then uh, protein bars I'm about to go and have a massive shit.